All right, so I recently purchased this uh, Epson Home Cinema 4010 projector, and the problem that I have is that I live in an apartment, and this thing is really heavy. It's uh, about 10 pounds. Um, the problem that I have is that I need to mount this to a uh, wall, and because this thing is really heavy, it really is supposed to be mounted with a either ceiling mount or like a special mount that you would use some kind of like an office mount where you would like put it to a stud and screw it in. So today I will try to solve the problem uh, by building a special um, shelf for this thing so I can put this projector um, in the apartment and not to drill any holes in the drywall because even if I drill holes um, you know this thing that cost a two thousand dollars I don't wanna this thing to uh, break and fall down and you know so uh, so let's let's start so for this project I bought this uh, parts is a paint um, some connectors for the uh, copper pipes uh, hinges this special thing two bolts and set of that bolts I will put all in description and now the main part is this Chinese special hinges that go one way and then they fixed so you can adjust the angle of the shelf the shelf will be able to swing and you could fix it at the desired angle uh, in terms in terms of uh, tools you will need a drill and basically the cutter for the pipes um, and the stuff for welding uh, for connecting also I got this uh, tips uh, rubber tips from Home Depot and I will show you uh, how you're gonna use them later on and the basic idea is to build the shelf that will stand on uh, copper pipes and you will also need pipes as well I will put uh, the length and all the required pieces that you will need to assemble this. So the width of the projector is 20 inches and I will cut this plywood right here and the width is 24 so basically 20 inches will be dedicated for the projector and another 4 inches uh, space would be for placing the Chromecast and the power outlet so I will have space right here to put it on the shelf and the projector will have its own 20 inches width so it fits nicely here alright so I'm in the middle of the work but this is halfway done and this is how this whole shelf is supposed to look like see this um, angle allows you to put it right next to the wall and now this thing goes up goes up right here and it's missing some piece over here and this piece will go almost up to the ceiling and then there will be a screw like that that will be put on the top and then when you start to screw it will go out and basically it will hold the whole structure uh, by um, uh, making like pressure to the ceiling like that and this is like a cap uh, which I drilled the hole and inserted the threaded inserts from Home Depot and then weld them right here and this has the shelf it has a uh, hinges right there and here will be mounted Chinese hinges that will allow this shelf to change angle like that yep that's that's the whole that's the whole structure right there all right so here's how the ready shelf looks like and you can see it's built of with the pipes copper pipes and I paint them the paint um, is just like white glossy paint uh, so here you can see that this uh, wonderful Chinese um, 
fixators, whatever you call them, they now allow to adjust the angle of the shelf. So if I go all the way up, all the way up, I can now move it so I have this angle if I need to put the projector under angle. And then I can also fix it to the angle I need. So here's 90 degrees roughly. Also, all wiring goes inside the pipes. And I also put this nice little LED lamp to have um, light since I have this shelf almost uh, on the top I thought that putting the light would be a good idea and the way the wiring goes is we have this master power wire that has this little outlet and then this uh, master wire goes inside the pipes go all the way here now, then it goes here and then I put some outlets over here in case I need a charger or some um, I don't know some if I in case I need the power outlet next to the my uh, sofa because this this thing will go um, behind the sofa so the next wire goes up and it goes all the way up right there it goes out and right there you can see there is a power outlet for a projector now it also has this little dim switch which goes over here and then all the way down right there and then this dim switch is um, this switch that I plugged into this outlet from the master power cord and in this um, after this dim switch I connected this power adapter that converts 120 volts to 12 volts and then the wire from this power converter goes through the right tube it goes all the way up and then as you can see this wire is the wire that goes to the lighting also on the right tube you can see that I put the auto cable as well as RJ45 never cable so I don't have any wires uh, visible everything goes inside the tubes and then the auto cable uh, you can see that I have it here so I can connect my stereo system as well as I mount this um, RJ45 outlet and as you notice probably the power wires except 12 volts they go in the left pipe but the sound wire and RJ45 they go inside the right pipe and the reason I did that so we don't have any crosstalk so low voltage signal goes on the right and high voltage goes in the left and this is how the base looks and the whole thing like like that yeah and you can see the dim dim um, dimmer allows you to do um, nice uh, dimmed light all the way up to nice uh, bright so you can change the brightness which is I think really cool if you want um, if you're looking if you're watching a movie or something and you want you know like see something or you dropped something you can just do with the dimmer you can switch on switch, switch on the light and it's not gonna be too bright yeah so this is it for this structure you can build it yourself uh, you don't necessarily need to put all the wiring inside if you don't want to and the trick that I used to pull all the wires through these pipes uh, is I basically purchased a uh, cheap uh, copper wiring for stereo for the speakers and uh, everywhere where I need to pull the wire I put the cheap stereo wires first then I did welding so like those wires were damaged inside because of the temperature but I didn't care all I all I was care about is that so I can connect uh, or attach my wires that I want to pull and then after I weld everything I put those uh, sound wire and RJ45 basically I attached them to the cheap uh, uh, speaker wires 
and I was able to slowly pull them through this whole structure right there. So it took me another two or three hours, but as you can see the result, uh, so once I install projector, all the wires go uh, right there, they will be hidden and there will be no single wire visible, which is I think really cool, and I have power right there and sound and everything. So this is it. I'll post the schematics and the measurements for this pipe. So if you want to build it yourself, uh, you can definitely buy materials. And this whole structure with this uh, lamp and dimmer, I think uh, total cost would be around 250, uh, something like that. But it's a custom thing, so you probably don't expect custom thing to be cheap. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really happy with this uh, shelf and. Uh, I will start the installation. Thank you. And just to show you guys the final installation, here's how it looks like. This is the couch and uh, these are the pipes and you can see they are fixed. And this is my uh, nice uh, Epson 4010. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, 1000. Yeah, 4010 projector home cinema and you can see all the wires are nicely tight there nothing is hanging here and the picture is beautiful as well yep hope hope you like this video and uh, good luck building your shelf if you decide to do that um, yep thank you bye